You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you... Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? We made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about them. Yeah, he traded his official PK knife for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean the latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. Just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra, so I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass and I get all the pussy. <laughs> all your mothers, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Rose sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. Ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then the rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys' screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Rose shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut-eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. 
It was. And we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! And Matt brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect to sell the fit in here? Little sn- Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. Guys want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. And one like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon.
Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. God damn it. Jack. Come on, Jack, are you there? There's... <clears throat> There's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Edro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. You were dead. They fucking wish. You'll pull through, Ro. Just hang in there. Oh, well, I will. The transmitter? Matt said you have it. I do. You can't lose it, Aiden. You can't. Aiden. Don't you... Think you should wait for that potato metal I promised you? What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog techs. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. 
They deserve it, son. Here. The transmitter. I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry! Frank. Luan, don't leave me here. Luan! The 30th floor, the infected, they, they blew up. Fuck it, I told you. Frank, wait, where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there and he needs you. He needs a coffee. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Aiden, some of our equipment should still be there, in the elevator shaft. One or two floors above you.
Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple. But it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Right to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. <laughs> On a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks 
really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave Get you on your own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. You what? No, no way, Luan. Luan?
I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. What were you after, uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them... hope. Yeah, well... I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say?
I'm at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch, and that's it. turn on the transmitter, Matt will tell me about the GRE doctor. I need to know where my sister is, and what Waltz did to us. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need Waltz's files. I see. You've, uh, made your choice. Over and out. Aiden. The job is done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys. Their deaths will not be in vain. The elevators are working again. See you soon. Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today. You made it. Hey. Good to see you, too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, wh where did that come from? You owe me one. The soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm... Um, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry? I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Lon, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. You want to go shopping for new sneakers now? Is this some kind of joke or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, are you... I... Ah, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. I, um, I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Back? Were they stolen? The wall? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. 
That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? Hmm. It's a cozy place. Sorry, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope, you're not looking hard enough. There's another room, behind the plywood. Luan? <laughs> you look almost... almost happy. <clears throat> Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't. Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. 
Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. But don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, 
I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is Cygnus. She what, miss? <laughs> there, look, the swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. In that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now, yeah. good night, Aiden. I'm here, yeah. The one? Well, I'm glad you're alive. That was one hell of a ride in that building. And then, you just disappeared. We need to talk. It's about the GRE database you're looking for. I finally found something concrete. Waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Jack. I'll meet you in your quarters as soon as I can. The one? The one, you there? Hmm. <laughs> Go on, come on, you hear me? Just let me know you're okay.
Luan, you there? Luan, hello? Hey, I'm getting really worried. You can stop them. I'm fine. Luan? What's going on? Where are you? Luan? Luan? Oh, shit. Leon's wife? Yes, Kyra. How can I help? At the VNC Tower, I was on a mission, and I met your husband. I came here because it... No. Hush. Hush. Look, I wanted you to... Please don't say anything. I know you're the pilgrim. I'm so sorry. He was a great man. He wanted me to give you this letter. Thank you. So this must be how the story of Squad 404 ends. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got. And their last words. I can still hear them. In my dreams. But that's a good thing, you know? Because we mustn't forget them. And this place. The PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. Yeah, I know what you mean. To remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim, may I ask something of you? Will you help me collect them? Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Fitzbowski, Chris, and Lieutenant Rowe in the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC Tower. As for the rest of the squad, here are the action reports. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited. Rainer's men got a huge order for lamps from Matt. Maybe they'll finally like the streets properly. Hey, Aiden. Got a moment? 